From what I know, she was last seen in Chicago. It's a friend that saw her, and I called the cops, and they told me they couldn't apprehend her. They checked her out. She didn't want to speak to me. They checked her out, and they said she's okay to go on the 16th. She was seen by the paramedic. She told a friend that she's gone to Chicago, but I asked him if he had any address or anything like that. He said no. She said she has friends and family there. I don't know anybody in Chicago. She just went to Virginia. She was in Washington. She left New Jersey. Then she went because she didn't want to take her medication and stuff like that. So she left at her own free will. She went to New Jersey. I don't know. She knows people in New Jersey somewhere over there, some friends. And then after she went to Washington, and then after Washington, she was hospitalized maybe for three days. Mm -hmm. And they let her go. She went to Virginia, and that's when I got contact. I actually was going to go to Virginia to get her. But the guy says, you know, she has no interest in, in coming back with us. So got to let her go. And she don't want to take her medication and stuff. And you can't, you can't put her up in the house or do anything. This is America. You right. know, she has her rights. If she, but in Guyana, if she, we can better control her in a controlled environment and we can take care of her there. It's been going on since 2020, since she came here. And she don't think nothing is wrong with her. She thinks she's perfectly fine.